Hey there everybody, Mark Soderwall here, and I just wanna take a couple of moments and just kind of reach out to uh, the visual creatives in the gaming industry, art directors, technical artists, animators, level designers, <laughs> level creators, level builders. You know what I'm talking about, uh, those people that just make everything pretty in a video game visually. Other than just doing your research, keeping up on tutorials, keeping yourself sharp, you know, just on that road to mastery of your craft, um, one of the things that has been a huge benefit to me in my uh, experience doing game development is reaching across the aisle. Now what I mean by that is talking to the other disciplines, the programmers, the designers, the producers, the executive team even. And what I have found is that by doing that, it, it creates a better understanding, appreciation, and awareness for me as an art director or even as a visual designer as to what their needs are or what's important to them when they start receiving my visuals. I'll talk to programmers and ask them, hey, how can I make your life easier <laughs> when submitting my artwork or animations or technical art to you? You know, and they could come up with a, a myriad of, of different answers, you know, naming conventions. You know, that's a big thing for, for programmers and for engineers. It's just like, make sure you're naming your assets correctly so that we can find them in our code and we can, we, you know, we can drop stuff in. I could talk to technical artists and, you know, uh, animators and sit there and say hey how can I make your life easier and they'll say uh, mark make sure that uh, who's ever doing the 3d models of characters um, that they're putting enough uh, mesh density and enough polygon data in the joints of characters so that when we start putting bones and you know different things inside them to make a move and animate uh, there's no tearing or pinching or stretching that kind of breaks visual immersion you know and so I think you see what I'm getting at and Having this awareness um, of these dis different disciplines and what their needs are and what's going to make their life easier makes your life easier because now, like I said, you can start to build it into your pipeline, into your workflow, having an understanding as to what their needs are so that your work uh, gets inside a game seamlessly and a lot better. Um, so that all the effort that you're putting in, all the creative, uh, you know, types of things that you're doing, it's not wasted or there's not a lot of rework because they're sending stuff back and just saying, yeah, it's broken or it's just not working right. So reach across the aisle, talk to those other disciplines, treat them as human beings. Don't continue to just stay in your lane, head down and be ignorant as to what's going on in the other areas of game development. I mean, it's a team effort. We all get there together. So start talking to them. I hope this helps. If you guys have any questions, just leave some comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback. I'd love to hear what's going on in your heart and your head and just what you're doing professionally or even by way of indie. I'm here to help. How can I help you? Just let me know.